Two months ahead of general elections, Bangladesh is seeing a wave of protests from the opposition and a subsequent government crackdown. Nearly 8,000 members of the opposition are in prison after violent clashes with police in the past few weeks. The opposition claims there can be no free and fair elections under Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina of the Awami League. And it also claims to have been deliberately targeted under her rule. 31-year-old Amzad Hussain begins most days with a visit to his lawyer. The political worker of Bangladesh's main opposition group, the Bangladesh Nationalist Party, or BNP, is facing multiple court cases. Cases he claims are politically motivated. He has already been imprisoned three times during the last decade, according to him, on trumped-up charges. After discussing his options to prevent going to jail the fourth time, he heads to the Dhaka Magistrate Court. Here, Amzat and many other political activists are made to appear before a judge. A routine that the BNP workers say have taken over their lives, leaving them no time for political campaigning or to even earn livelihoods. I have to be in court at least three to four times a week. I leave my home at seven in the morning and it takes me three hours navigating Dhaka's traffic to get to the court. After running around to the different courts all day, I'm done at about 6 p.m. And by the time I get back home, it is nearly 9 p.m. This leaves me with no time to make a living or spend time with my family. And this happens to me three to four times every week. What am I supposed to do in such a situation? The BNP accuses the ruling Awami League of being behind the many thousands of court cases against their members. A political fight that BNP says is now being played out in the country's courts. As the election draws closer, BNP campaign workers gather to hold strategy meetings. The BNP is threatening to boycott the vote unless changes are made. Historically, elections were held under a neutral caretaker administration. But in 2011, Parliament, under the ruling Awami League, amended the law. Perhaps neither side is willing to compromise, but if that's the case, then the situation is likely to grow more tense and perhaps more violent. In the end, it's the choice of the Bangladeshis whether a caretaker government is needed or not. But if elections proceed under the current election commission, then the government clearly has more work to do to convince skeptics that the election commission will operate in a nonpartisan manner. But the Awami League say elections under its government will be free and fair. It also says the court cases are not politically motivated and rather accuses the BNB of political violence and human rights violations. As the accusations fly, Many in Bangladesh believe the future of democracy in the country of 170 million people could be at stake. And earlier I spoke to Nurul Kabir, editor of the New Age newspaper, and began by asking him if protests by the opposition BNP were putting the government under pressure. Oh, well, uh, this is not just the BNP, B BNP being the major party in the opposition, but along with BNP, there are most of the opposition parties have really drawn the government in demand of a free, fair and inclusive elections. Uh, and they are at the same time demanding a resignation of the prime minister so because they believe that under the authoritarian regime that leads, cannot have a free, fair, and inclusive elections. So this is not just BNP, it's many other uh, left-wing centuries and right-wing right. parties have joined them too. Is that putting a lot of pressure on the government of Prime Minister Hasina? Uh, well, it doesn't seem that uh, the government is feeling the pressure, but as we see here, in fact, there are two kinds of pressure that the government is under. One is the United Opposition Parties, although they are uh, having these movements from separate, separate uh, platforms. But on the other hand, there are some international pressure as well, which is visible, particularly the Western embassies have, have uh, 
as somebody active uh, to put pressure on the government to have a negotiation with the agitating opposition uh, in respect to uh, finding out the ways of holding a good elections in the weeks to come. Is that the kind of pressure that is going to work uh, on the government, forcing the government to negotiate with the opposition, as you put it? Well, it's apparently the government seems very uh, adamant and they have their own parties as well. The different fronts of the ruling party have been staging agitations at different uh, parts of the city almost every day with sticks and uh, strong words in their mouth. But on the other hand, the opposition, which has now been now been enforcing a blockade across the country, is also continuously being observed. So it's still to be seen in the days to come whether the government really uh, feels the pressure, uh, whether the government really listens to the popular opinion and changes mm -hmm. position on the one hand, and whether... Uh, even the international forces, they are being very active visibly. It can help them change the uh, present course. The police have arrested nearly 8,000 members of the opposition. How does the government justify this? And is this even legal? Well, uh, thousands of leaders have, and activists have been arrested so far. The prisons have been full. Allegations of custodial torture as there, where the government is telling people, what you say as a uh, point of justification, that they are uh, agitating unlawfully. And there are some cases of arsons. On the other hand, the opposition parties are claiming that this is a sabotage kind of thing. The government agents and their activists are engaged in arsoning in order to uh, in order to give blame to the opposition prime minister sheikh hasina has seen impressive economic growth under uh, her leadership uh, does she have a significant amount of support among the people well you know uh, the definition of economic growth is always a controversial thing as we see that there are structures big big structures have been erected some infrastructural uh, development has taken place, but there's a lot of inequalities of income. Uh, government sector workers are in, have been taken to the street. They are in the movement for uh, two, three weeks, demanding their minimum wage that has not been resolved so far. Uh, this is some, some politically and economically suffocating uh, situations that we can uh, uh, visibly see. General elections have been scheduled for January. Do you think, uh, based on your long years in Bangladesh, that they will be free and fair? Well, we had uh, two elections in 2014 and 2018. The first one was uh, boycotted by all the major political parties in the opposition camp. And uh, the government was, government has won 153 seats out of a 300 uh, strong parliament without any candidate, without any uh, con contest. So, but still they uh, formed their government and continued to 2018. In 2018, the opposition parties uh, trusted the government because government say claimed that this time there will be free and fair elections but the opposition parties across the uh, and uh, observers across the world have seen that uh, there was a highly rigged election in 2018 too even the voters couldn't go to elect, uh, polling booths and before the election day the ballot was stuffed at night so the opposition parties argue that uh, we cannot have any trust in this government because they cheated us. So right. they believe also that the government is unpopular if there is a free and fair elections. The BNP and the, their allies will uh, win the polls and they are this time reluctant 
I must say, determined not to take part in the elections. Even if the government tries to uh, hold a farcical elections that were held in 2018 and 2014, we have reasons to believe there will be serious confrontations on uh, on the election day and uh, days leading to the election day. We'll leave it there for the time being. Thanks so much for joining us today, journalist Nurul Kabir. Thank you, sir.